Hello. Hello. Welcome back to the show. Uh, we did last show like five days ago, more or less, right? I think so. We did yeah. five days Just ago. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, the fact is that we both are gonna go on trips soon. I'm gonna go. It's holiday time. Tomorrow I'm gonna be for a week in Turkey, which is gonna be a huge challenge itself. Go with the challenge while being in an organized. Do you think it's going to be that hard to be in Turkey and in holiday to do that? I'm gonna be with my family and with my sister all the time. You're gonna need as well to do the walks. It's going to be so hard. Yeah, the walks. Where am I, where am I gonna do the walks? I'm gonna walk around in my house. You can, you can, there is forest. When I went there, it was nice There's forest. Be here, yeah, but it's going to be July in Italy. Yeah. Well, tough life, tough but life, yeah. we will do it. A life many for the takes. <laughs> A lot we of do all work. for life. hard work. <laughs> I have to do it for magic. Um, okay, so after the five days, yeah? yeah, today is the third show, yeah. and okay, let's gonna speak how the challenge is going, how is the challenge going for you, Matilda? So, <laughs> my name changed depending on the day, uh, and I like it. Uh, it's going very well, finally the meditation is improving as well, I have a lot of interest coming to me and it makes me feel very good right now, and um, I like the fact that because I'm doing it consistently, the meditation is easier and easier. Um, so yeah, when I started I saw an improvement first in the walk and now also the meditation is going up. We will see how the cycles go up and down during the month, but for the moment it's a very positive outcome, I would say. Yeah, you? For me, I say more or less the same, like last post that I did yesterday night or night morning. Whatever, what I am. And I pointed out like the meditation is getting very easy to tap into, even if the head, if my mind can be full of thoughts or random images that don't understand why they are there. Uh, it's alright, like the feeling is alright, I don't feel like a loser because of it, and actually I feel my body is just, it just, sorry, it just jumps into meditative state. And yeah, my it's body much faster laugh. to get into the mood. Yeah, because it's like we said at the beginning, it's like a muscle. The more you train it, the faster it goes. Exactly. If you're stretching every day, it's not a problem when you bend over. More yeah. Less, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. my muscle of meditation <laughs> is actually, I think, it's actually called it's be more flexible, if you know Thank what I mean. I like the concept that I wrote a few posts ago about one, two, three meditation, bam, and then just yeah. go on it. Yeah, I actually felt like that last night. It was very, very difficult. Just sitting down and sitting ready to go. And the funny thing with the coach of walks that is happening to me is like the, the challenge is quite specific that you need to do an observation of the world for 30 minutes, which is observation of the world, because if you cannot walk, you still can't take the challenge. So. Uh, but normally I am so lazy thinking about it, like in the, when I finish work and I go, oh my god, I need to do the work now, so it's, you know, it's just half an hour, just 30 minutes, but still it's like 30 minutes, you know, you need to yeah, put After minutes. six or seven hours of work, standing up, it's heavy, I understand. It's not, it's not just, it's not the walking, it's the thinking, where am I going to go? <laughs> yeah. I know. That's why I decided to do this week since we did the show yeah. last time. I decided to go the same path for one week without having to think where I'm going, but yeah. just observing it. So I've been, I've been uh, going to Carlton Hill. I kept going there for every single night, more or less like the touring, maybe going first on the left side and then on the right hand side of the hill, but doing always the same, more or less path and see how it would change every different day, depending on my mood, depending on the weather, the weather is sunshine, but on any kind of observation I do. Yeah, on people normally I suppose, but yeah, that's another thing to keep into account. So last night it was foggy and it was so beautiful and magic to look at everything in the... Yeah, this photo, the photo of last photo that you did, it's great. Ah, the place is great. Yeah. So, yeah, that's another thing, another tool. When you do a walk, you don't know where to go. You can't 
can repeat the same path you already did. I think it's always going to be good. different. I think it's always good to repeat the same, to, to repeat the same kind of path. Yeah. At the end of the day, like we live in a city and we live more or less in the same area, and you, because you are missing the challenge, it's not supposed to break your life, you know, it's supposed to be complementary to your life. And I think sometimes if I have to go to my job, I just take a different a different road or I just go try to go with more time so <coughs> so I can go slowly and observe the world. And I think that that is what it's about. But I have to say that when I do the coaching, well even if at the beginning it's like, oh my god, I just want to be my coach, I want to just to be a bit. Uh when you finish it and when you finish your day, when you're writing the, the reflection, I feel accomplished. You know what I mean? Like I've done something yeah. worth it. And I think it has to do with the with the fact of going out of your comfort kind of area. Like for example, for me, it's very easy to go from a room to the bar and to the ramp to the bar to the room because sometimes I'm a bit antisocial and I'm happy to not be too long the night before. But uh, by having to go out, having the coaches walk, is giving me a sense that I've done something important in the day. And I think it's the whole thing with the challenge is giving me that, it's giving me that sense of I'm doing something important here. And even if it's 4 o'clock in the morning or something like that, and I'm writing the post, and I just did the meditation, uh, I feel more energized. Like for example, today at the oh, yeah. hours, I feel more energized and I was, I was, I was saying in my last post, uh, my mind is very sharp, like, I don't know how to explain it, like normally, the thoughts kind of, if, if your mind, or you, yes, your mind is a boat, okay, I, I feel that before some thoughts, related obviously to feelings, uh, they pull the mind to one side or another and it cannot get any, touch perspective, which is what you want in your mind. And since I'm starting to the challenge, well, starting with 15 days, because today is 15 days. Today is the 15 days. Uh, since it's this, I feel much more, much more clear, much more, start to feel a sense of control. And along with that, all these double numbers, all these synchronicities are happening, that, well, when this kind of numbers, patterns of numbers, double numbers happen all the time. I understand it, understand it as a way of the universe that means you are going for the way, for the good path. You are going in the good way. And it, honestly, it has been constant. For two or three days, it has been constant all the time, the numbers, blah, blah, blah. But synchronicities, you know, they also go in cycles. Yeah. There are moments where they will come, especially now, we just passed the solstice and the full moon at the same time, which means that there is more magnetism, more electricity, and the, the air itself yeah. is more powerful, because it's a special thing of the year moment. And there's a lot of light as well, light over charges. Like, I remember, I don't know if you will remember, uh, a few months ago, we, I took magic mushroom with a friend, okay? This friend of mine was, she wanted to get to know the light or something like that. She, saw, she said something that she wanted to understand the light. She, yes, I remember. She, I was here yeah. checking on both of you. She, in fact, baby, she, she, yeah. she didn't understood the light. The light was inside of her and she was basically doing like that. It was scary. I don't know if she understood the light. She connected she with the light at that moment, definitely. She felt it. But it was overwhelming. Yes, yeah. it's a big word because understanding also. Like, okay, um, this would bring us probably to the definition of today as well. But understanding is not something that only happens in your mind. Understanding is something that happens inside you, in your body, in your soul, in everything something. you have. It's, so what, it's what I've seen in her is that after that, she obviously connects with something like that some information because she yeah. you could feel it. I think it's a process of integration of the that information that has arrived. And she has gone through that and I was saying this because light we have all the time this oh light and dark and traditionally light behold like the best way to go forward. But actually too much light can burn yourself out. Like my friend that day was that close to burn Oh, it's everything like the <coughs> There needs to be a balance. Exactly. Yin and yang. Everything is important. There is not one thing. 
And also, I read this uh, uh, very interesting article that was online not so long ago. Uh, there is now a tendency of trying to emphasize and put always on the on the front the happiness or the positivity. There is too much positivity, okay. too much. And it's fake. It's fake, and it's not also really unrealistic, true. and it's also kind of wrong. It's wrong because you haven't been true to your feelings and you are actually betraying your body. Nothing is to be avoided. Everything needs to be understood. Everything is there for a reason. It's not being put there just because you, they, they decided they were bored and wanted to annoy you. Yes, maybe sometimes it happens, but still. And to be honest, when I see people who are all love, like, he, ha, ha, sugar coated, and you know, like, you can you can see in their in their eyes the anger inside because you are not doing the same because it's taking a lot of effort for them. That's personal opinion, of course. It's taking a lot of effort for them to positivize, positivize, to make positive any kind of input that is coming to them. It's just repressing. It is fucking repressive. Of course, it's repressive. Yeah, and it's just wrong. And that's not good either for the heart or for the mind. It's never good if you need to take a shit, you need to take a shit, man. We are going to remember definitions that we are making. It's just our way to see the, the, the world that we, we are the 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 way we see it because we want to put all yeah, we the want opinions together and, and we get want to, to a proper. Exactly, we want to put the language out there. We want yeah. to uh, have a look to the language in order to be able to understand what we are talking about because we have the feeling that sometimes the. Like, for example, the word energy that we are going to def define in the future. It's something that is given for granted, but I mean, that some, sometimes we just speak superficially about and we don't really know what we are talking about. Yeah. So, we today, try to be more conscious of the words we are using. Today's word defining is the word mind. What is mind for you? What is mind for me? What is mind for me? Um, mine is that quiet, small place. Somebody's going to knock the door now. Quiet, small place. Um, that. Okay, it's like a, a link. A quiet place where. Um, Keep talking, ignore him. I, I know, <laughs> I, I'm just trying to make a. I told you it was just a hard definition for me, this one. Um, okay, so to explain what mind is, I have to go by its opposite again. I always, I've always been uh, overwhelmed by feelings all my life. I'm a very emotional person. So my emotions tend to be fast, 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 sometimes faster than my thoughts. No, maybe not. Thoughts are faster, but they don't stick. While emotions are so intense that they tend to cover up my thoughts for most of the time. Which means that my mind goes kind of in the background, instead of being the leading part of all of my process, all my decisions. Sometimes the mind needs to be more to readapt to whatever is the input that is coming from outside, than leading me towards the kind of effect that I want to have. Which I assume is a bit the problem that we all have. But for some people it's easier, for some people it's harder, for me it's definitely harder. That, generally speaking, the first thing that comes to my head when you ask me about mind. Mind, like the definition that you were saying, I think is quite alright. Like mind is a tool. Mind is a tool for the human experience. And as well it's the tool that connects you with what you really are, which is a mind expression, expression of a bigger mind. But from the point of view of human body, um, as you were saying, the mind is like a this crystal clear pond, very flat water. But that's the purest nature that nothing it never happens normally. And then this crystal water, crystal clear water, is affected by all the feelings makes the water too like kind of boiling 
spoil a bit and then by all other thoughts and opinions the thoughts are like waves yeah like waves like if the thoughts can be like as well what? waves the stones are as well feelings that come from outside you know what i mean all the things that you can come to the pond to create a movement in the water yeah that is what affects the mind yes and the mind is basically a huge receptor you have to think that the mind uh, the mind receives all the inputs and outputs of the psyche and that, that takes feelings it takes uh, impressions that takes as well uh, impression from outside which can be like you've been talking with a friend and you had a nice conversation that affects your mind if you had a bad conversation that affects your mind if you had a alright conversation but you felt that it was something more underneath that affects your mind your mind receives everything rather you know it or not it's a big receiver and as well it's a creative it's a creative uh, tool because even if the pool or the pond is flat and bubbling all pond has fishes as well all pond have life because it's water so the nature of the mind it's created as well that's its maximum like a mind won't have any kind of sense if it won't be creating because that's what the mind is for a part of dealing with the world dealing with the human body and basically being the spectator of the human experience the potential of the mind the highest potential is to create and yeah, like that's the mind for me is that it's a huge receptor and then inside of the mind there is a lot of parts because obviously you have the, the receptor and then you got the decider which it will be represented by Mercury and uh, it's this process of where of you analyze so yeah the mind I would say it's a big tool with a lot of plugins inside for you. Mind is a big unfolder of reality. Unfolder of reality, I like that. And what is the connection with Mercury then? Because I like it and it makes sense. Uh, so Mercury would be what pushes you towards the creation then? Because Mercury was, mythologically speaking, messenger of the gods, protector of travelers and trade and um, art crafts and things like this. I think Mercury is basically that aspect that makes you search for knowledge. Without knowledge, you cannot really create something worth it. Right. And that's why Mercury is in the equation uh, as the mind. It's very much related to Mercury and other aspects of course. Fair enough. I, don't, I won't relate Mercury to creation because Mercury is more of discerning what is already created. So more than creation is I meant the creative part of the mind. But that then would mean a completely different thing. So what you mean is that analyzer, Mercury the analyzer, analyzer and the, also the the pond of knowledge, the one that you acquire and the one that you Suck. learn and that you build up. As bigger is your knowledge, bigger is your fault. Okay. Which makes sense. That would make sense. So that would be mind. I think so, yeah. I think it's, a, I think it's an alright definition if we, in a very metaphorical way, which is the best way to illustrate the mind because yeah. at the end of the day, like the mind is calm, it's just. 